In this video, we are going to learn about themes and skins. ASP.NET themes and skins allow us to apply consistent look and feel to the website or to the web applications. And themes can be used to control the appearance of HTML as well as ASP.NET controls. But skins can be used to control the appearance of only ASP.NET controls. It means that skins can be only applied to the ASP.NET control, but CSS or themes can be applied to HTML as well as ASP.NET controls. So first let us learn how to use themes in ASP. So first we are going to create a theme folder. So let me go ahead and do that. So here is my project. I am going to add ASP.NET folders and theme. And uh, let me name it as a default theme. <coughs> DFAULT default okay and then what we are going to do is that we are going to add stylesheet.css so let's go ahead and do that so first is the stylesheet and in the stylesheet we have this code let me copy and paste it now let me tell you what is in this code. In this code what we are doing is that we are applying CSS style for the body element of the web page and I am going to change the background color to green, foreground color to yellow and font family to Arial and Vardana. It means that my page background color will be green, my page text color will be yellow and my page font style will be Arial. And if Arial is not available in the computer then Vardana. Now what we will do is that we will create one ASP.NET page. So that's what we are going to do here. Let me uh, show you this default.aspx. So right click the parent uh, folder, add new item and default.aspx page. Now we do not have any master page here. So I'm just saying that's fine. Now in the default.aspx page, what we are doing is that we are simply writing one text. This is the sample text and done. Now let me go ahead and use the in order to use the theme into this folder what we need to do is that we need to use the theme attribute of the page directives and when we write the theme attribute we will notice that whatever themes we have created here default that will come automatically. If you will have more than one theme then all those themes will come into the intelligence here. So here we have selected default. Now let us create one more page okay so that we will be able to differentiate between these two pages so this is default 2.aspx and here also I am writing this is the sample text now let me run this default page yes and here you can see that my default page is running and because I have used the default theme here so whatever a styles a style sheet or a skin file will be available into the default theme will be applied to this particular page you can see that background color green foreground color yellow and font is a style as uh, Arial on this page but if you will try to access the default 2.aspx page because default 2 doesn't have any themes here you can see here there is no theme here so default 2 is coming with the default font style and background color but in case we will use theme here as well then you will see that the, the theme CSS style will be applied on default 2.aspx page as well you can see it here now in this how to we are going to learn how to change the theme of the page dynamically okay so for that naturally we need more than one theme so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create uh, two themes here so first let me tell you what is the default th style sheet.css so in this case we have this code I think uh, we, our code is already written here so let me again just make sure that this is the updated code so this is the code inside the default and style sheet.css now let me go ahead and uh, create one more theme called theme1 so right click the project underscore app underscore themes folder and add theme and theme1 and under this theme1 also I am going to create one more style sheet and in this style sheet I am going to copy paste the code that will basically change the background color to red you can see here it is changing the background color to red and foreground color to white and 
font family equal to Arial Black, and if not, then Times New Roman. So remember that the theme one, so the default theme, background color is green and foreground color is yellow. But theme one CSS style is background color is red and uh, foreground color is. Now what we will do is that we will try to dynamically change its theme. Okay. So in order to dynamically change the theme, we need to catch the page pre init event. So let me go to the code behind of the default page and write the page pre init uh, event. And first, let me just comment this code and let me first uh, run this default dot aspx page and let me show you how it is looking like. You can see that my default dot aspx page is looking like this. So this is the sample text where theme one is getting up sorry default theme is getting applied background color green color yellow and font family as Arial and Vardana now at the runtime if I want to change uh, the theme of this particular page then we can go to the page priority server side event and we can write this dot theme is equal to the new theme name so in, in my case what I'm going to do I'm going to change to theme one so that's what I have written theme one now because we have specified a new theme for this particular page so this style should, go, should get up, uh, applied in, in, into the page so red and color as white should come so let me just refresh this page and you can see that background color is red foreground color as white and the font family is Arial blank is coming so using the page pre init event we can uh, set a, a new theme and uh, to the uh, to, to the ASPX page. In the next how to, uh, we are going to learn how to set the screen of the ASP.NET controls. Okay, so what we are going to do is that we are going to uh, create one skin file under the, the default theme. So let me go ahead and create the skin file here. And here, what I am doing is that I am going to write one skin for the label control. So ASP label. I ID is not needed run at is equal to server and for color is equal to red and that's it okay now we will have to add one skin ID property here also so I'm going to write skin ID as LBL red now let's go to the default dot aspx page and add one label here so I'm going to add one label under the paragraph ASP label ID equal to LBL message run it equal to server text equal to some text fine and I'm going to create one more label here and I'm going to name it as a label 1 and for that what I'm doing is that I'm going to write a skin ID is equal to LBL red you can see that whatever skin ID we have written for the label control into the skin file that is automatically coming as the IntelliSense now in this default aspect space we have two label first label doesn't have any skin ID but the second level has a skin ID as LBL red okay now let me run this page again now you can see that the first level text is still coming in the yellow why because it is getting applied with the themes of CSS but in the second level because I have used the skin ID and that skin ID is basically changing the foreground color to red so that's why the second level text is coming into the red color so this is the way to basically apply the skin into the ASP.NET uh, server controls here I have shown just for the label control but in the same way you can apply uh, or use themes sorry skins for any of the ASP.NET uh, server controls it can be grid view it can be data list it can be drop down list or list view uh, any any server controls now what if I will remove the skin ID from this particular uh, label from the skin file now what will happen 
both label text will come into the red color why because i have not specified any skin id for this label so all the labels that exist on my page will appear into this style foreground color as red you can see that both label are coming into the foreground color as red so this is the way to basically set the skin for the asp.net server controls